All right, welcome back to our soda machine project. In our last episode, we created a can of soda with some varying attributes. Now we're going to create this soda machine object, and we will store our sodas in a 2D array. So I'm going to create a new file, and we're going to say public class soda machine. And then we'll need some area for our fields, constructors, assessors, mutators, methods. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is create a 2D array to store our sodas in. And the soda machine is going to have five different sodas across, and then we'll have, you can have ten sodas um, down, as many sodas as you want down. Now Java is row dominated, so since we're going to have ten rows, that number is going to go first. So here's an example. So we'll say private soda, and then we have two sets of open and closed brackets for a 2D array. And then we can um, call our variable sodas or soda machine, however we would like to do it, is equal to new soda. And now we need to set the size of the array. So if we want 10 rows, we can do that. I'm just going to simplify it. Well, let's just do 10 by five because we have five different brand names and so this is going to give you a 2d array that's 10 rows and five columns to make it simpler for this exercise let's just make it a five by five array now we need a constructor for our soda machine so we'll say public soda machine And we're not going to, we're just going to use a default constructor. We're not going to do anything specifically in the machine. Um, you could call the pot, um, stock soda machine method to stock the machine when you create the machine, but typically the machine is created and then some other company comes in and stocks it. So I'm just going to leave it blank. So because we have. Um, sodas we need something to go ahead and get those sodas so I'm going to make a assessor methods for a 2d array so that's going to be public soda and notice the type up here is uh, 2d array get soda cans or get sodas and there's your method and then we're just going to return um, sodas And that's how you um, do an assessor for the soda machine. Now, one type of me um, mutator for the soda machine might be to stock the machine. So we can say public void stock soda machine. And then here's what we need to do is we need to add to the soda machine. So um, what you're going to do then is add, since you're adding them in, in a column, you're going to add to the rows for each type. So we can say sodas, and, and then we got to list the index numbers. So we're at soda 0, 0 for the upper left. Uh, in the array and then we say new soda and then we pass in the name of the soda because we have one um, constructor that allows for just just passing in the brand name and we'll do this again but now this time we're at one zero so we're at the first row I mean we're on the second row and first column we say new soda and then this is also going to be a Pepsi now since I have a 5x5 five five array I'm going to save some time and copy the next row 
because the only thing that's going to be different is the row number. So I'll say 2 and then I'll copy it once again and say 3 and since we have five rows we are only going to go up to four because our numbers are from zero to four. Now when we want to do another type of soda, let's say we want to say have um, diet Pepsi. So we can say, or maybe we want Dr. Pepper. So we can say sodas and now instead of now we're back to zero, but we're in the next column. So now we're in um, row zero, column one, and now we're putting in Diet Pepsi. And so in this section, what I want to do is just add to the column number. So now I'm at. Um, I'm sorry, this should be one zero. Because no, I'm at row I'm at row zero, but now I'm at column one instead of column zero. So now I'm at row two and I'm still in column one. I mean yeah, in the second column. And now I'm in row three. So I'll do two there, but I'm still in the second column. And I'll do row three, but I'm still in the second column. And I also want to do this five times. Because I'm working up to a five by five array. So now this is four, and I'm still in column one. And what you can do here for time's sake is copy all five now that you hopefully get the idea and now what we want again is we want to be in the next column column three so we'll change all these to two because column one is zeros column two is ones column three is twos and now maybe we want to do Dr. Pepper and we can just go ahead and copy and paste the correct name in And then we want to add, we're, we're doing a five by five array, so we have three different flavors or brands now. So we'll do two more. Let's try seven up in the next row. So now we're in column four, so these will all be threes. And then these are all going to be seven up. and then we need one more so for those healthy people maybe we want some type of mineral water or just water so these are going to be four now and that will make five different columns because our columns are zero through four and our rows are zero through four also and then down here we we'll just do water And if you feel like you want to put different brands or flavors in, you can. All right, so this is a basic way to stock our soda, soda machine, which is a 5x5 five five 2D array. And every soda is represented by a particular row and a particular column. So now let's say we want to have a, a write a method that's going to check the stock and return everything that we want to um, show us what's in the soda machine. 
this would be pretty much almost like our two string. So we can say public string check stock. And then what we want to do is we want to create a local variable of type string. And we'll start it off blank. You could also put the phrase current stock in there if you want, like a header. And then we need to now use a nested loop first to walk through the rows and then walk through the columns. So we're going to say for um, int row is equal to zero. As long as the row is less than sodas dot length, then we'll keep going. So we'll do row plus plus. And so for each row, we want to take a look at what's in that. Um, column. So we'll say we need another nested loop. This kind of works like a clock where you have the second hand and the minute hand. The second hand has to go around 60 times before the minute hand will change once. And In our example it's going to check all of the items in the column before going to the next next one. So we'll say in column col and I forgot an equal sign up here. So in column is equal to 0 as long as the column is less than sodas and then we want to r at row we want to add at row in here dot length so as long as we don't go past the total number of rows then we're good to go and then we'll count up and keep going so we have an inner loop and an outer loop so now what do we do in, inside the inner loop? We want to add to our variable. So we say str plus equals soda at a particular row and column. Or sodas at a particular row and a particular column. And then we're going to go ahead and add a tab so that they're separated from each other a little bit when, when we print them out because we want to have enough space to print out the names of our sodas. And then once we've done that we need to um, at the end of the uh, inner loop we're going to add a return sequence so we'll say str plus equals quotes backslash n And then when we're finally finished, we need to return our string. So we say R-E-T-U-R-N S-T-R. All right, let's compile so and make sure we don't have mistakes. So we'll save Soda Machine. And it looks like we're good to go. So let's go ahead and make a basic runner so we can print out our stock. So I'm going to go ahead and file new um, in fact, what I'll do is um, I will, let's save the next video for a runner, and we'll check out our soda and our soda machine.